right there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What? So, yeah. Okay, All right. Go. All right. Uh -huh. All right. I'm gonna. I'm going down. Nice. I just want to get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to get right, in there. Right I just want to get in there. All right. Uh, get the D. I'm getting it. I got it. I got it. I like the snow. How's that for hard? Oh, that's hard enough. I'm Spudgy McGonagall, and uh, this is my wife, Jan. And uh, we're, we're grave rubbers. Not robbers. Rubbers. I've been rubbing longer than Jan, but uh, we've been rubbing together since uh, since we first met, uh, which is about four years four, ago. Yeah, uh, he got it right. <laughs> yeah. Are you going the right way now? Um, you see, this is back to the. Listen, we're we're at least we're closer to, than we were before. Okay. Okay. She met me. She saw me rubbing in uh, in a cemetery, yeah. and. Uh, and came up to me. I couldn't believe it, because uh, usually people are a little afraid <laughs> of rubbers. And uh, but she came right up to me. Yeah. When I walked up to him and I, and, I, and I saw the rubbing that he had done, I was so impressed. It was so beautiful. It was. It was like. I think. I think it was just a, a, a wing. Yeah. Like it was a, an angel wing. It was a cherub wing. Yeah. Oh God! It was so beautiful. I was like. It was Pliny Dwight's grave. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Seventeenth century. Oops. I'm gonna finish it up. Oh, Jenny oh, called too. I forgot to tell you. Really? Yeah. What does she want? She just left a message. She wants you to call. I'm sure it's the same thing. Oh. Uh, so I don't feel bad about telling her. Gravestone rubbing is cataloged among the more interesting of the paraphilia. Let's consider the elements: the touching, the physical rubbing, the close proximity to the dead. It's very rich and a very underexplored area of the scientific literature. True gravestone topographical fetishists, rubbers as they call themselves, are similar to other tactile compulsives. Although instead of using vinyl or leather or rubbing up against a pretty girl on the train, the rubber finds satisfaction in the immediate visceral contact with death and the emoluments of death, a kind of necrophotage, if you will. The way I feel at first, it's almost, uh, there's a really, really brief moment of total exhilaration. Uh, but then almost right away, it's like you go blank. We've had a couple of rough patches with the rubbing. We've, we've had to grow with rubbing, certainly. Mm. We, uh, Jan was really upset. I, I had, for a period of time, I was, uh, I was calling out names of people who we'd rubbed. Jan and uh, Spudgy McGonagall really got me into gravestone rubbing. I, um, a couple years ago, I was at Forest Hill Cemetery and uh, I had, uh, I guess I had spent the night there after, after a night of partying. When I woke up, I looked and, and I saw them uh, really uh, focusing in on gravestones and they were looking at them, so they caught my attention. And uh, all of a sudden, they, uh, they, they put this paper on them and they just, they just started going to work. I didn't know what the hell they were doing, but um, I was curious. And, and I think Jan, you know, Jan said that uh, they were rubbers. Um, and, 
you know, at the time, I, I just said to myself, Sid, these people are fucking crazy. But uh, it's just it's just changed my life. They've really gotten me into it. Uh, I go about just about every day and rub and rub. And uh, it's just been amazing. When we're not rubbing, I'm, I work as a telemarketer, um, which I don't really want to do anymore. I'm kind of getting tired of it because um, I want to do something where I'm working with my hands, you know. I kind of have too much energy for this little body here. That's right. <laughs> I'm a pastry chef, uh, although I'm not doing that kind of work right now. And the work that I'm doing isn't quite as experimental as I'd like. I'd like a more, uh, I guess, creative way of expressing myself. Uh, but I, I don't have that right now. Yeah, Spudgy has a, um, a degree um, from L'Ecole Cuisine. To <laughs> Uh yeah, I mean, one day I, I have a dream of opening up my own little patisserie in Everett or Lynn. But right now I've got a steady full-time job, a good salary, full benefits. I guess uh, I just look at this as a stepping stone. You can tell them where you work. Um, hostess. I work at the Hostess factory. Spudgy puts the uh, cream in the Twinkies. You, uh, you ready to call it a day? Yeah, tired, cold. We got a lot done today. Yeah, it's a good day. Cool. It's Quincy Death Bunting. They haven't made that since 1938. I can't believe it's here. Oh, God, but it's too high. Here, lift me up. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so what's the plan this time, Brainiac? Hey, you guys. How's the graveyard today? Great rubbings. Terrific. Great. Bye, Derek. Fucking freaks. <laughs>